Um, hey, Vince. Um, really nice changes. Um, I think the grayscale works really well. I also really love what you did with the grass bits here. Um, okay, just a few suggestions because this looks really great. Um, your caricature still is probably not e barely a quarter of the picture plane. Um, let me look at your image size here. So you've got it seven by seven, and that's um, you know a square. It's supposed to be eight by ten. So you might want to crop some of this off, or either either way, um, just because you want to you want to um, you know meet the specs. And I would just really make your caricature a lot bigger. Um, I mean, you could even put it over the world, even though it's just um, it's still just a little unclear why this big earth is here so you mu oh, there's your mask fragments but something like this big even um, um, and then you could you could probably put I don't know if you cropped it here I, I the earth um, just is just confuses it that's all I mean it's it's you have to approach this from that you didn't know anything about this and um, and so you're trying to get the message of the, um, you know, of the design. So that that's kind of, you know, the reasons I'm mentioning um, the size and then some of the imagery. You just want something to be really clear, especially for your portfolio piece. Um, I'm going to control Z this. Actually, I'm going to go back to the history and go right back to where we were when we opened. Um, so that's what I would suggest. Um, you know, and I think with this really cool leg in here, even if you move this over a little bit this way, um, even though I love this big grass here, but if you just move this over a little bit, you're going to see those those fragments again. You might want to get rid of those so you have more freedom. And then you move the leg over and made this bigger. Um, then you could just really probably crop most of that out. If you wanted to, I mean, I'm saying it's your design. I'm just trying to, you know, have you make a you know strong portfolio piece. I mean, even if you cropped, you know, you know, you know, just something to to make this larger and and to fit the specs. So um, let's see here. I'm not gonna crop it at all. Um, so that's yeah, that would be my main suggestion. The other thing I know you love this um, these these um, warp text, but. It, they really kind of take away from how professional your design looks and how cool it is. I would go with really simple stuff. I would get rid of the warp. I, I don't mind the font at all. I'm not quite sure with the... Um, I mean, I know you have this world because it's supposed to be trashy world, but you, it's just not clear enough to, to see that. Maybe, it, you know, maybe if you put him on top, like you had a, a world like this, and then he was on top of it, or, you know, that, that would make a little bit more sense. Um, so that's kind of the main suggestion I would do. I would go, you know, oh, see, I can't really um, do anything with your text. I would probably get rid of the warp altogether. Um, let's see. Um, or just make it a lot simpler. Yeah, I'm going to lose the font if I... Um, Oh shoot, yeah. Um, and then put the text in the negative space here. Um, you know, you can do other things too. I don't, red is, is really tough when it's just red text on a background. To make this more readable, you could go into the layer styles and you could add, you know, maybe a stroke. I'm in layer style now, a stroke. Um, not red obviously probably something probably a cool color because or even just white um, just because you, you you want it to stand out more that's way too big um, but just make the stroke like maybe like I don't know like three or something no it's really a drag because Photoshop is really not is acting so finicky lately. Um, I would probably make it small, and you can even see now that this this just stands out a lot more with the white. Um, you know, you could you could do an outer glow, even though again those tend to look pretty darn trashy a lot of the time. So um, you know. Um, let's see what a white one would look like. Um. Oh, 
Ooh, that's way too big. But again, if you did something even bigger, you could make it, then again, you, you could lower the opacity so it's not showing up. So even again, something like this is a lot more legible than just the, the red on the background. Um, okay, and I would just, you know, I love how you're mixing up the letters here. I would just get rid of the warp. Um, and I would probably just really, you know, make make the caricature a lot bigger and just crop it like I did a few, a few seconds ago. Like just really crop it like, you know, something even, I would even cut the whole world off. Or like I said, you can you could rotate it and make them standing on top of it. It's just, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make enough sense. And the clouds are actually really excellent and so is this negative space back here. So that's really working well. I'm just wondering where's that light bulb? Um, Oh, whoops. Um, dun, dun, dun. I'm just wondering what that would look like if it was even really bigger. Oh, it's here. I put him in a layer folder. That's right. Um, that's that one. And um, that's really t a little bit, well, I guess if it was bigger, it would be seen. But that looks, that's really a cool idea. I would just, what I would do is make this whole arm bigger so we could see the light bulb better. Um, and that's not that hard. Just select both of the layers and you can lock them together and then you can just make it bigger. Um, you know, just because it's, it's not, I mean, I know I'm looking at a, like at half the size, but you just want it to stand out more. So something like that, you know, would even work. You can even rotate it so it actually, you know, but again, yeah, you just want to make it stand out more because you can't see it the way it is. Where's that other light bulb? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there it is. Um, I'm just wondering what this would look like if it was even bigger. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. No, I don't like that. So anyway, just just giving you some um, just giving you some more suggestions. So. Um, yeah, um, it'd be great if you could post, um, you know, another revision for your final, and just for the for a portfolio piece. Um, I think this looks really cool. I'm just wondering, even if you made, excuse me, if you made the background even do a, levels with it. Just you could get away with a little bit more contrast in the background. So even something like that. Doesn't look bad. So that's just doing a levels, and then your text will really stand out. And I think even the darker kind of gives it more of this kind of a more, um, you know, kind of cultish feeling, um, you know, as well. But the dark really allows your caricature to pop. So um, anyway, so I'm going on too long, but I really love what you're doing. This has been a really fun thing for me to watch, and I hope you've really enjoyed it because you've done great. Um, yeah, I just hope you have time for a couple, you know, for another revision before class is over on Wednesday. Okay.